Oh, here she is. This is Nadia. All the other girls have already performed in the vault. This is the only event in which you actually get two tries, the best of two to count. She's been training so hard, Jim. I've never seen her train. I, I realize she trained hard for the Olympics and all the other competitions, but she's really under pressure here. As you pointed out in our opening, she is taller. She's almost two inches taller, almost five feet one now. They say about 15 pounds heavier. That would bring her up to 105 or thereabouts. That's and right. You say her body structure is actually changing, too, and you say that presents balance problems. Huh? Balance and timing, uh, especially on this event when she's, she does a super horrible. And she doesn't seem to get the, the power from her arms that she got or the, the timing and the turn. There she goes. Barely see through those lights. It was a little bit fast. She didn't get the height that she got in Montreal, but it was a good ball. Still as serious, unsmiling as ever. Here it comes. Watch how she pushes hard. Doesn't get quite as high as before. A little low with the shoulders and steps forward. Thousands and thousands of flashballs going off. They don't do any good when you're more than about six feet away, you know. Well, actually, the vault goes so quickly, it doesn't really bother you there, but if you're on the balance beam or the uneven bars and you have to catch the beam or catch the bars, then it bothers you. All right, the second of two vaults for Nadia Komen each. Should she get a 9-5 here, the Romanians would finish this event, this first event in the team competition, remember, with a lead of 15 one hundredths of a point over the United States. The United States girls have been doing very well. Very poised, and for some of them, it's their first time in a big international meet. Remember, there's about 20,000 people here. That's enough to scare anybody. That's right. When you started, they didn't get 20,000 people for gymnastics meets. They got about 25, I think. There's just a part of this crowd in the Superdome. That's the stand that they move out into the middle of where the football field normally would be. And this is the confirmation that's normally used for basketball. Fits in very well for the gymnastics sport. That's only one side and that small side at the end. That's the smallest seating capacity. It's a huge crowd back on the other side. All watching Nadia Coleman. Second ball. This time she's really going to have to think about landing it with no steps. Powerful runner. There she is. Yeah, nice baby. ball. That's the old body. <laughs> she has to be happy about that. You see, the timing came out perfectly here. Good hip position. Good pike. Legs just enough behind her. Very good ball. Well, here's her mark, Kathy, Nadia, 9.60. That's the best of the evening in this event. Amelia Everly, her little teammate, was second. Donna Turnbow and Lisa Cawthra in the United States tied for third. And in the team competition, at the end of one event, Romania leads the United States 47.30 to 47.10. They lead by only two-tenths of a point. We'll be right back in the Super You are looking at a part of the largest crowd ever to witness a gymnastics meet anywhere in the world. The promoters tell us the official attendance is 20,400. 83. Nowhere ever for the Olympics, World Championships, or anything that that many people witness a gymnastics meet. This, once again, is a dual competition between the United States and Romania. Of course, quite honestly, most of this crowd has come to see Nadia Komeni. So we've seen a very good meet so far, and right now we're in the uneven parallel bars competition. This, remember, was the event in which Nadia got her first 10 in the Olympic Games at Montreal. But right now we're going to watch 18-year-old Denise Cheshire of the American team. She's from Burbank, California. California was fourth in the all-around of the 1977 U.S. Championship. If she can get through this mount without any trouble, we'll see. Good girl, doing a real good job. That was her only weak point. She's working well. That's called a free hip half turn. Boy, she's working just super, Jim. That was a made-up move right there. She improvised, exactly. Yeah. And that's her dismount. She had little trouble. She's supposed to twist in that dismount. It's hard to get the timing. you got to hit just right on the top of your legs. And she's a... Okay, we're going to take a look at that dismount in slow motion. She has to get a lot of height going into it. A good leg position in the air. She straddles over, and the bounce has to be very high on her legs. It was a little bit low, and she was supposed to twist. 
right, here's the score, 9.30 for Denise Cheshire. Okay, good mark for Denise. Now here is Amelia Everly, 13 years old, from Romania, 4 feet 6. She's really dynamic on the uneven bar. She moves quickly, she swings well, and has a pretty unusual routine. That's a long way for a girl to go in between those bars. She reminds me a great deal of Nadia on this event. Very strong. He's even smaller than Nadia was at the time of the Olympics. And a front foot dismount. Perfect landing. Nice exercise. All right. Now here is Amelia's mark. 9.50. That's the best mark so far of any of the competitors on the uneven bars. And now the greatest female gymnast in the world again, Nadia Komenich. And if you were with us earlier, you may not have recognized her. As you can see, her haircut's different, her figure is different, she's taller, she weighs more, but she certainly is, is still weighs in proportion to her build. Yes, but the weight, the extra weight she's not used to handling, it seems that her strength hasn't caught up with her, the size of her body yet. And uh, earlier, in the, earlier in the day, she was practicing on this event, and she seemed to have gained a little bit more strength than on the last couple of uh, months that I've seen her. But when we talk about weight, we're not talking about excess weight we have. It's just the weight she has put her on as she grows. Exactly. She's also developed a little more muscle tone. Okay, again, this was the one where she got her first 10 in the Olympics. Jim, she hasn't changed her routine at all. In fact, she's taken out a few difficulties. Has taken them out? Why? Because of the timing, because of the strength that she doesn't have quite at the end. As you can see, she didn't get quite as much swing on that full twist. She is actually now the tallest girl on the Romanian team, if you can imagine that. She used to be the smallest. That's right. A little more trouble on that handstand. Not the exact same timing she had before. Here's her dismount. And she did a good job. Not as good as in the Olympics, but very good since I've seen her in the last couple of months. Okay, and the crowd of 20,000 or more is getting what they came to see. Fine performance by Nadia and a good competitive performance by the American team. Let's take a look at that whole performance now. You see that she, it does take a little more effort to get through. The opening is going to be able to move the backpack with me. Now you see on this hand and this front flip, it's just right on the money. A little bit straight turn. Not enough swing. Nice full turn. Okay, on this handstand from the front roll, You'll see that she doesn't go as smoothly as she used to enter it. Little pike, then her legs come up. It should be all in one motion. We have the AMS American she does go into a... She doesn't do the two um, flanges that she was doing before, and her legs came up slightly early. So I doubt she'll get a 10 for that. Well, what she does get, here it comes, is 9.60 for Nadia. Still the best mark of anyone in this event up to now. However, we have an American girl coming up next to... This is something pretty impressive. This is Donna Turnbow. She is the American national all-round champion and national champion in this uneven bars also. She's a good one. She has a very classy mount, and especially uh, her whole routine is very classy. She calls her shoots, which are a men's move, but Donna has no trouble with them on these bars. There she goes. Switch hands. Oops, get it up there. There she goes. A little hesitation there to know when to come out of those, when to shoot to that handstand. She needs to work a little bit on her toe point. And... There she goes with another stall to shoot. Jim, she's really hanging in there. Certainly is. Well, that mark of and the body put her on the top. Good, This mark, 9.60, that ties her with Nadia for a best score in the uneven bars. Third place going to Amelia Everly of Romania. Now in the team standings, it's Romania 94.30, U.S. 93.60. Oh, the difference between the two teams, just seven tenths of a point. Fine showing so far at the halfway mark by the Americans.
United States and Romania. 20,483 people on the scene at the end of two events. That's the halfway mark. The United States only trails by seven-tenths of a point. I'm Jim McKay. This is uh, Kathy Rigby-Mason, our expert on the sport with me. And your event's coming up. The balance beam is the one you won the silver medal on for the United States in the World Championships in Yugoslavia. This event's going to really make the difference and, and uh, put the, the two teams far apart or we might have some upsets here. Okay, they're also having an individual all-around competition here, and in that, Nadia Komenich only leaves the American Donna Turnbow by one-tenth of a point. And now here's the tiny one, who at this meet is in the process of becoming perhaps the new big name in international gymnastics, 13-year-old Amelia Everly. She is about four feet, six inches tall, weighs something under 70 pounds. You can see the beam is almost as tall as she is. She is. She does, more, she does more flippy movement than anybody in this competition. And not only are, is her is her tricks are her tricks good, but her ballet is extremely good too. Right, remember the individual all around. There she, she is goes. very close. She's in third place. Watch this move. Back back flip into a back handspring now. Solid as a rock. Into another back flip. Boy, is she solid. She sure is. Good catch. Donna Turnbow and even Nadia Coleman each with his performance if she keeps it up. One more event after this. A little low with her back leg on that lead. Not enough to really hurt her. She's new to international competition and just goes to show you that it can be done. The poise is unbelievable. Before the largest crowd in the history of gymnastics, more than 20,000 people. She's a long way from home. Watch this move. Lay out on the balance beam. Not a tuck, not with her legs bent, but in a straight body position. Talk about strength. You have to have a great deal of strength to pull that all the way over. She's really doing well. All she has to think about now is her dismount. Two back hands bring. Full twist. High to Eventually, the best thing she could do is to not hesitate out of that back tuck and go directly into the back handspring. Right into the back tuck in an open position and just solid. Solid, all right. Listen to this mark. 9.75, the highest mark for you see by anybody in this meet so far. We're watching Super Gymnasts at the Superdome. We've been out the individual all-around title here with the great Nadia Cohen each. Only a tenth of a point behind coming to the balance beam, but this has been a tough one for the Americans. She's a veteran of the team, and she's had a little more experience in front of crowds and in international uh, competition, so she should do well. Right on. Good girl. Excellent. No points can be taken off for that. United States, United States national champion in this event, and the United States all-around champion. Every difficult trick she does, the aerial walkover in the back flip, she does out of a moving uh, element, which is more difficult because you can't set yourself and get ready. Working smoothly. A little hesitation there. Just hold on to it. She's doing an excellent job. Getting ready for a gator backflip. Very difficult. Off of one foot. Usually you see them off two feet. And watch her dismount. Round off both feet on the beam. A double twist. Good exercise. Okay, we'll see how that's going to keep her vis a -vis. Nadia Komeni. Nadia is the final competitor in this event. Coming up next. For on that double twist, but the difficulty outweighs the error. 
All right, here's the mark. It's a good one, 9.60. However, because of that terrific mark that Everly got of 9.75, Turnbow now drops behind little Amelia Everly in the individual oh, opening the stand. Of Here is the leader, of course, not even a woman each. If she gets a 9.65 here, she'll stay ahead of her teammate Everly. A 9.55 will keep her ahead of Donna Turnbow. Honey and Coleman each on the balance beam. A real treat to watch. You know, no matter how heavy the pressure is, she never seems to hold back. She always goes for every move, full out. Walk over, solid, and I tell you, Jim, in practice, she was missing that a lot. It's just a true sign of a champion. She looks considerably more long-legged now than she did at the time of the Olympics to me. Well, they've probably grown a couple of inches. Yeah, she is two and a half inches taller. You know, to tell you how serious they are about training uh, during uh, their stay in New York on tour, Nadia and the rest of the girls could not eat anything but yogurt and an apple, so they're trying to keep their weight down. No trouble. She's really doing a beautiful routine. It must become tough to be 15 and not to be able to have a hot foot Sunday occasionally. It shows, believe me. <laughs> really smooth. And for the trouble she was having in practice, she's doing an excellent job. There's her two back handsprings. She can stay ahead of Donna Turnbow with a 9 5. It's Fantastic. Nine. He's a 965 to stay ahead of her teammate, Everly. She needs good height on this dismount. Double twist. She really, really hit it. He's still not here. And her coach is so pleased. I think he's almost not ready to cry. 30,000 more gathered in the Superdome. She has to smile. Let us go to Bella Caroli, Alvin, and her little hair be there. How do you pull me? Ah, a smile and a simple bow. That's the first time we've ever seen her do anything like that. Take a little first of all. You guys have come a long, hard year after the Olympics to get back together, and she's really done it. Smile we have ever seen from Nadia Komenich, including the Olympics, and he, here's what she was smiling about. Watch her nail this double twist. She gets a great deal of height, has the endurance, has the punch, and definitely has the concentration. That's a power. Right around, doesn't move her feet, sticks up perfect. Let's listen for a score now. Score for Nadia Komenich, 9.9. .9. All right. The crowd loves it. All right. A sensational 9.9. .9. There it is for Nadia. That means that at the end of three events in the individual all-around, it's Nadia now with her teammate Everly second, Donna Turnbow third. However, there's only four tenths of a point still between Komenich and Turnbow. It's going to go down to the final event, the beautiful three exercises. And the team competition, Romania has started to run away with it now by better than three points. 483 gathered in the Superdome in New Orleans for the final phase of the competition, a dual meet between the United States and Romania. The Romanians leading easily in the team competition now. And in the free exercises, they've continued to add to that among the girls who have gone so far. Here, though, is Amelia Everly, who is locked in a battle for the individual all-around championship with her more famous teammate, Nadia Fulminich, and with Donna Turnbow, the United States, who are yet to come. She's a real crowd pleaser in this event. Strong tumbler. She picked the right music for this town. The Saints come marching. That's right. Double twist. I wonder if that's her usual music. I, I, I believe it is, which is, uh, as you said, a great, a great coincidence. been unique because the Romanians have been using such unusual moves in their dance, jazz movements that they've never been seen before. <laughs> We're just a stone's throw from Bourbon Street, literally, right? <laughs> Saints come marching in. We're a Romanian girl. This 
is though very different from what we're accustomed to seeing in the World Championship in the Olympics. Well, we, it is very routine. Right? That's right. It's, we usually see a lot more ballet, but yeah. these, none of these girls take that much ballet. Uh, take that many ballet classes. How do you think the international judges will think to this in a World Championship? Well, since they're a... <laughs> a high-ranking team and they have a reputation for it, it's okay. Very interesting. They subjectively judge sport. Encore. <laughs> outside chance to win the individual all around here. Almost certainly she'll finish among the top three. She's in third place coming to the free exercise behind Nadia Komenich and Amelia Everly. We've seen Everly. Komenich is yet to come. Here's Donna, the American all-around national champion. Her experience has really paid off her in this competition. And she's only 15. Look at the poise. She should be well-timed for those next world championships in the Olympics. She does two, two double twists in her exercise, which is difficult unless you have a great deal of endurance. In my opinion, one of the best dancers on the team also. Here's her first double twist. Beautiful, look, great leg form. Legs together. She selected music called Moscow Nights. <laughs> I'll pick international music. another tenth of a point behind Everly, so she will not win that individual all around. And there's one performer yet to come. Her name is Nadia. Here is Nadia, the tallest girl in her team. She was the smallest at the time of Montreal. Two and a half inches taller, 15 pounds heavier. Still done a lot, as you can see. Longer of leg. But still, it appears, the greatest performer in the world on the basis of that balance being oh, that great. You know, and rumors have been going around that she's, you know, getting bigger and taller, not as good. This is really a big lift for her, especially after that balance beam. Well, we saw the biggest smile in Coney Age history after the balance beam. Let's see what happens here. This is new music. Good double twist.
exists now. She didn't seem to have them at Walt and the uneven bars. Energy boost. Pretty layout. Good height.